This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 21st of January. James Spann here. Got a soaking rain falling early this morning as I do this update. The big question in the short term, will we see a round of severe storms this afternoon? That is an interesting question. Let's see if we can answer that. Let's go to the sky cam shots early this morning. And yep, it's pouring rain. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa sky cam looking down over the Hugh Thomas Bridge, the uh, ramp there where many spots have picked up over one inch of rain overnight. Look at downtown Jasper from the King Building. Good steady rain falling there. And from Birmingham, looking south from the Daniel Building. It's raining. Well, there's our parade of storms. The uh, first short wave has gone negative tilt, and boy, that produced a whopper of a tornado outbreak yesterday over East Texas, where the area is uh, generally between Dallas-Fort Worth and Shreveport. And that big mess is in here this morning. Yeah, that's a rain right there for you. That's at 440 this morning. Just widespread heavy rain falling over North Alabama in a little convective band showing up down there uh, over Hale and Perry and Marengo counties. Thing is uh, bowing out and looks like uh, that could produce some pretty strong winds as that passes through there. Uh, first off, the watch warning map. And uh, again, that thing is lit up like a Christmas tree. You name it, we've got it. Uh, Winter weather problems up north and out west in the mountains. Heavy rain and severe weather issues down here in the deep south. But look at the tornado watch uh, box until 9 o'clock. And that includes the area basically from Tuscaloosa down to uh, Fort Walton Beach. It's kind of the center axis of that thing. And you can see that bow echo coming through Hale County. And again, that could produce some pretty uh, strong winds and uh, the, the one good thing about it, this stuff is coming through in, in the pre-dawn hours and the air is relatively stable. And again, you note that the rain is ending over uh, ex over most of Mississippi. And uh, that rain will be ending over Alabama during the next few hours. And uh, there's our instability this morning and there just is no surface-based cape there for us. Uh, there's some elevated instability, but uh, again, we can be very thankful for that. If we had some uh, unstable air to work with, this could be a pretty uh, rough outbreak this morning, but looks like the main threat will be heavy rain. And again, there could be some reports of strong winds in there. But later today, there remains some risk we could see some afternoon redevelopment. Here's the uh, uh, severe weather risk for today, and you can see it runs all the way from Memphis down to Tampa Bay and uh, Daytona Beach. And that is interesting there. The Tornado probability at 5% covers uh, the Tennessee Valley and parts of North Alabama back up into uh, southern Tennessee. And that's where the uh, dynamics will come into play this afternoon for the possibility of redevelopment. And again, uh, we'll have to watch for that. Now, let's uh, check the next event, the weekend event. This is uh, day three, which is Saturday, a slight risk over most of Mississippi and parts of West Alabama. In Sunday, the guys at uh, SPC have adjusted the risk farther south, taking us out of that. And I think that's a good call because simply it's going to be like this deal. It's going to come through at you know 4 o'clock in the morning when the air should be rather stable here. If it were coming through at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, that would be a different story. But again, for now, it looks like uh, perhaps the greatest risk of severe weather with our weekend system, Saturday night, early Sunday, will be down south. And that's a good thing, at least for us. And there's the QPF chart. That's a familiar look. Heavy rain and mountain snow out west where they've just been pounded. And around here, and by the way, this is valid through Monday evening at 6 o'clock. So this counts really the rain from last night and the rain will get over the weekend. That's suggesting the bullseye down around Dothan, 5 inches there. Now the amount's up this way, 3 to 4 inches. And that sounds about right. Let's look at it modeling. This is the 06C GFS at noon today. There's that strong negative tilt shortwave uh, just northwest of the state. And there's the synoptic map, a, a 1,000 millibar low located north of Memphis. Now, let's look at the uh, RPM model. This is valid at uh, 17Z. This is 5 o'clock this afternoon. And the big batch of storms we have now is well to the east. And you see those green specks over north Alabama. That's where we could see some redevelopment. And understand there won't be a lot of moisture left, which means the storm should be isolated. But I think they could be a lot stronger. Uh, they could be the LP-type supercells you see in the plains, the light precipitation supercells. Uh, there's the instability at the same hour. This is valid at 5 o'clock, and you can see plenty of Cape over Alabama and Mississippi. 
uh, is we think the sun will break out during the midday hours after this big rain this morning. And uh, look at that. That's the significant tornado parameter. Valid at uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can see how uh, those numbers are actually pretty high over us, right on top of us. Uh, the Birmingham Metro, uh, Tuscaloosa, Coleman, Gadsden, Anniston. S and again, there will be some threat of an isolated tornado this afternoon. And there's the uh, Craven Brook severe weather composite, one of our favorites that combines instability and shear. And again, the numbers are very high over uh, North Alabama, even North Mississippi. So uh, the idea stays the same. We'll have uh, the big rain this morning, some midday sun, and a risk of severe storms in scattered spots redeveloping this afternoon. Won't rain everywhere this afternoon, but where they've developed, they could pack a punch. Tomorrow, we're in between. Uh, nice day, partly sunny with high in the 60s. Saturday, here comes our next system. The uh, surface low well under 1,000 millibars near uh, uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Saturday during the day should be dry. We'll go to midnight Saturday night. There's the uh, whopper of a trough. Excellent dynamics. But again, this is midnight, so the thermodynamics are very marginal for severe weather. There's the band of storms moving in here at midnight. And then by noon Sunday, the storms are on the way out. So it could be a, vent, a deal very similar to this. The better round of rain and storms, maybe 10 o'clock Saturday night until 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Yes, the chance of a strong to severe storm, but the main threat could be heavy rain. And we'll have to watch out for some flooding there because understand this event is going to kind of get the soil rather saturated. And then Monday of next week, pretty good trough digging through here. So it's going to turn colder. 540 line drives down to Montgomery, so highs in the 40s. A chilly north wind. And Tuesday, uh, we should be in the 20s to start the day and uh, wind up close to 50 Tuesday afternoon. There's Wednesday of next week. We'll be dry with the moderating trend Thursday. This run keeps us dry, holding off the rain to the west. And then uh, Friday the 29th, uh, there's a uh, disturbance you can see over the western Gulf Coast, and that's a uh, Gulf low that should wet us down at the end of next week. That's a week from tomorrow. All right, end of the forecast. Cold air, again, not to be found here. So no doubt the uh, GFS, at least, has been trending toward an idea of not making it cold in early February. But again, uh, we'll see. That's out, out there in voodoo country. i got a long way to go. Conflicting signals now, but maybe we'll be spared. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. The uh, next scheduled video will be 3.30. The weather's really active, of course. We'll have to be on television, but we'll see. If, if we have time, we'll crank one out at 3.30. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.